Hello and thanks for watching the video. People often ask me why I stopped working with Paul McCartney and also people ask me how I came to work with Dire Straits on their final tour, the On Every Street tour. Well, at the end of the 1980s, I saw myself as a freelance studio drummer and my favourite drummers at the time were people like Jerry and Rick Marotta, Omar Hakim, Andy Newmark, Jeff Picaro. And so the McCartney project ended up being a three-year, pretty much exclusive project. And at the end of it was a nine-month world tour. So at the end of the world tour, I decided I wanted to go back to studio drumming. And um, kind of crazily, I told Paul I didn't want to work with him anymore. So I was hanging around London trying to get going again as a freelance studio musician and Dire Straits got in touch wanting me to play on their next tour. And I wasn't really keen on going on tour again, especially as it was supposed to be about a year, a year and a half long tour. Anyway, I ended up going to the studio to meet Mark and John Air Studios above Oxford Street in London. Fantastic studio in a great location right in the centre of London. And they played me the album that they were mixing, the On Every Street album. And they told me that Jeff Picaro was the drummer on the album. So I was absolutely thrilled at that. And when I heard Jeff's drum parts, I just absolutely loved them. And that was what swung it in the end. Uh, it was just an amazing sort of honour to re reproduce Jeff drum parts, Jeff's performances on tour for a year with Dire Straits and so that's how I ended up doing the tour and um, my favourite songs on the On Every Street album are When It Comes To You and You And Your Friend well we played You And Your Friend nearly every show I think but we hardly ever played When It Comes To You it's one of my favourite songs so I've decided to do it for this video I hope you enjoy it, thanks <laughs> 